Aloha, I'm Kai Nishiki, and I'm running to represent the Haiku, Makuau, and Paia District for the Maui County Council. I would like to work with our community to provide more green jobs, educational opportunities, and laws that support small and home-based businesses. With the current reduction of real estate prices, I will work to make affordable housing more available. I will work on expanding public water facilities through better resource management and planning and transition to renewable energy for public facilities like wastewater and water treatment plants. I will work on ocean water quality and the reuse of R1 water instead of injection wells. Lastly, green infrastructure. Bikeways, beach parks, athletic parks, and community spaces like gardens, youth, and senior centers. While these protect our natural and cultural resources, they also provide low-cost recreation for our residents. Taking our kids to hula, baseball, soccer, football, volleyball, canoe paddling, fishing, camping, celebrating graduations and first birthdays. I understand that at the end of a hard day's work, we want to be able to enjoy time with our families. That's what makes it all worth it. Our first question is in regards to the Putya bypass and transportation. What's more important, traffic relief or parking in Putya town? And is there a way to meet the needs of both motorists and merchants? I have served for the past few years on the Department of Transportation's Putya Relief Route Advisory Committee. And committee consensus supports the need for comprehensive solutions rather than an either or approach. Uh, parking, there's ongoing issues as well as preserving the small town feel uh, for Paia. Myself and many others um, have advocated that the relief route uh, include ped pedestrian and bikeways to help give the Paia and Kua residents better access to local businesses and services without having to get into their car. Additional parking areas should definitely be designated within the area's country town growth boundaries, as well as looking at traffic relief. If we don't address this issue, the quality of life for our residents will suffer and safety issues will get worse. There's just too many people trying to use Hana Highway at the same time. There's cars and bikes and pedestrians and people watching windsurfing and surfing contests. And then you add in emergency vehicles, people on wheelchairs and scooters. Uh, and we just know that the Paia, Spreckelsville, and Kuau area will always attract considerable traffic because our beaches and small towns are just so popular. So we need a way for through traffic to have a more uh, direct route. The next subject area is the county budget. Given the tough economic climate that we are currently facing, would you support further cuts to nonprofit programs? And what are your priorities for continued funding? Well, I believe we must continue to fund the core services that our families really depend on. Um, public safety, public transportation, social services, parks, municipal utilities, services for our youth and seniors, and environmental health. And any cuts to nonprofits would need to be made fairly by evaluating the program effectiveness. Programs that cannot demonstrate effectiveness would be my first priority for cuts. My background's in business, and I would want to review the budget in a business-like way with a focus on the health and safety of our residents. In regards to public safety, there seems to have been a higher incidence in recent news of shootings on Maui. What are your thoughts on ways to improve public safety on, in Maui County and on the island of Maui? With all of the challenges facing our families, the youth, our children, are often left without support and the options for entertainment and recreation here in Maui County are somewhat limited. I see great potential in our youth. I understand that they are eager to have places to hang out and have fun where they are welcome. I think that it would be a great idea to repurpose old buildings and unused spaces into all ages entertainment areas that are run by the kids, which gives them a sense of ownership. And of course, these would be um, programs that would implement the use of mentors. I also know that a lot of kids want to participate in sports and they can't get a ride to practice or the cost for the club fees or shoes and uniforms is just cost prohibitive for our families that are re really struggling at this time. And I believe that we could partner with community um, agencies, interested companies, 
to assist with a ride sharing or a bus program, as well as getting sports companies to donate equipment and organize ways to get all of the shoes and uniforms and things that all these kids need, and a lot of kids are outgrowing them, we can redistribute them. And there's already a lot of great organizations that really need our support, like the Boys and Girls Club, the Paia Youth and Cultural Center, uh, Maui Academy of Performing Arts, and all kinds of cultural and youth organizations that are doing a great job in keeping our youth involved in their communities. And they really need our support. I also believe that we could do more to interview, intervene on substance abuse. I believe that a majority of the violent crimes that are occurring can be traced back to individuals who are under the influence of drugs, alcohol, and that their judgment is impaired. I support placing community police officers on the beat of all of our towns, and they can keep situations from escalating into violence and provide a watchful presence. And along that line, we could also be looking at um, community groups who are just willing to uh, do neighbor, neighborhood watches, programs like that. I also support finding a way to have a kahu program, on-site caretakers uh, in our larger parks, and this would give park users a sense of accountability and that community standards for respectful, peaceful conduct will be upheld. Any closing thoughts? This is your opportunity to maybe touch upon something that I didn't ask that you think is important or to just give contact information or upcoming campaign events. Uh, I would just like to urge everyone to please vote in the primary on September 18th. It's very valuable, as well as the general election on November 2nd. I humbly ask for your support, and you can vote for me anywhere you live in Maui County. I will be available to truly listen to your concerns. You can reach me at kainashiki.org, or you can always look me up on Facebook. I'd be happy to be your friend on Facebook. I ask for your support. Your vote will absolutely make a difference. I will work hard for you, and I will not let you down. Aloha, everyone.